All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. First off, I would like to say thanks for everyone who got around the new video and commented nice things. A few people said they missed my videos while I was away, so I really appreciate that, guys. It's really good to be back. Today, in this video, I'm gonna be mixing up the format a little bit. I'm gonna be using a tier maker. If you're a fan of the Caden McDonald YouTube channel, you've probably come across videos like this before, so shout out to Caden. I'm kind of ripping off his format a little bit here, but I couldn't help it because these look really fun so I thought it'd be a good idea for a video. This particular tier maker is by a person called RHT Designs. You can follow them on Instagram. I thought I'd give them a little shout out. Uh, and this one is literally listing AFL midfielders in the competition based on how good you think they are. So it's pretty straightforward. If you haven't done a tier maker before, it looks like there are five bands here where you can rank players. You got the goats, the elite, stars, great, and good. Uh, so there's no spud section, that's fair enough. A lot of these are good players. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and start dragging and dropping the players. Let's look who we've got down here. They're ranked alphabetically, which helps. Okay, so in, as far as I'm concerned, there's three GOAT midfielders in the competition. Um, I'd probably go Fife, definitely, Dangerfield, and Dustin Martin, where are you? There you go. All right, so as far as I'm concerned, those are probably the three that you have up there. Someone like Paddy Cripps is probably just in the rung below. He's arguably one of the best players in the competition now, possibly the best, but in terms of the legacy, I think he's just a little bit behind those other three midfielders. Now, it's an interesting conversation. Some of these older midfielders like a Josh Kennedy or a Scott Pendlebury, do you rate them as elite over the course of their career or is it just a case of how good they are right now? To be honest, Pendlebury, I think is elite either way. So that's an easy choice for me. Stephen Cornelio probably would have been very close to winning the Brownlow this year had he just not done his knee. Bontempelli, got to put him up there as well. You know what, Colt Bias, Elliot Yo, absolutely elite. Yo's a funny one, he might only have like less than 20 possessions some games, but in the, he's literally the league's leading tackler, so I think you have to have him up there. It's one thing to be a league leading tackler when you're a defensively minded player, but he's actually really good offensively as well. So I'm gonna stop harping on about the guy who plays for my team. I just needed to justify that. Travis Boak is in insane form this year. He's actually gonna finish high in the brown though, I think, because he just had such a ridiculous year. I wouldn't have ever said he was elite before, but I think this year on that basis, he's definitely up there. My boy Luke Shuey, probably gonna win All-Australian this year. I think because of how damaging he is, he he makes the cut. Lockie Neal, Brownlow contender. Absolutely, he probably will win it actually. In fact, where's Tim Kelly? There's no Tim Kelly in here. That's probably an omission. They might've made this at the start of the season to be fair. Brad Hill, another one that is might be controversial, but I think he's been one of Fremantle's best players uh, this year. Mitch Duncan's a funny one. I think I'm gonna have him as a star. He's been unreal this year, but he's playing 82% forward. So it's a bit of a gray area there, but I'll probably have him in the star category. Dane Zorko is another one. He's, he's sort of like, yo, he's very defensively minded. I think he's like ranked really high for all the pressure act stats and tackles and stuff like that. Um, Probably have him as elite, yeah, to be fair. Trent Cochin might be divisive here, but I'm only gonna put him in star. I think he's a great bloke. I think he's a good player when he's on song, but doesn't have the production long-term enough to be in this elite category. To be honest, I just don't quite see it like other people do maybe. Let's have a look at who might be down at the lower end of the scales. Probably, I should have probably started with that as well, just so I know exactly where the boundaries are. Mark Murphy, he's a good player, I'd say. He struggled, but I think they've messed with his role at Carlton, to be fair. But I'd probably have him at the lower end of this scale. Braden Fiorini's another one. He's he's only young. He's only like fourth or fifth year player, but he's doing a real good job in that Gold Coast midfield without much help. Um, but to be honest, doesn't have the hurt factor, I don't think, to be rated any higher than good. But I think potentially he could find himself up in this sort of area uh, later in his career. Jack Steele, yeah, see, I'd probably have him at the lower end of the scale as well. He's a great defensive midfielder, but... Um, offensively doesn't offer that much in my opinion. David Swallow butchers it a bit, but he toils hard. I think he sort of belongs in that category. Yeah, Angus Brayshaw, this is contentious because he was top three in the Brownlow last year, but again, ball use is a bit of an issue and this year's really dropped off. He'll, he'll come good. He'll find himself up around here probably, I think towards the end of his career, but or towards the peak rather. Now this might be contentious. I'm gonna slot Matty Crouch in this section as well. Uber consistent but low hurt factor, very low meters gained generally. I know 
he's uh he's sort of an in, in and under player, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't really cut it for me. Adam Trelaw had a ridiculous year so far. I think uh, I think he's leading the league in possessions, or he's very close to it. Um, probably doesn't have quite the hurt factor to be rated up along with these players, but yeah, can't put him any lower than star, that's for sure. I need someone for the great section. Who would be in the great section? Maybe Seb Ross. He's a consistent performer for St. Kilda. Again, not a hugely damaging player, but you know, he gets the job done, and he did have a massive game on the weekend, so I think that's probably his level right there. Probably have top, Tom Rockliffe in that sort of area as well, another high production player, but um, never really been considered one of the absolute best mids in the game. Now, this is a tough one. Jack McRae, he's one of the best fantasy players in the league. Great ball use, really wins a lot of the ball. Um, again, probably I'd probably take all of these players ahead of him, given the choice. Um, but I think, yeah, Star's probably about right. Clayton Oliver, I reckon give him time. I don't think he's an elite player just yet, but he will be... Um, you know, he's ridiculously young. He was in the 2015 draft. Probably putting Luke Parker in this section as well. Had a very good year so far. Only 26. Um, I don't know if he's had an elite season, but, you know, he's a very good player. Dyson Heppel's probably in that area as well as Rory Sloan. I feel like Sloan could be in this category up here, but um, maybe maybe I just haven't seen enough of him this year, but I don't think he's having quite the level of season as these guys here. Now, Cunnington's a tough one. I want to put him in star, but he has had a ridiculously good year. Good chance to be All-Australian. He's such an inside bull. Kind of one-dimensional, though. He's probably had a good as year as Brad Hill. All right, I'll be generous. I'll chuck him in the elite section. He hasn't been there for long, though. Callum Ward, probably chucking the great area. It's hard because he's been injured for so long. Zach Merritt, I kind of think, belongs around this area as well. Wins a lot of the ball, but I don't think he's really quite as good as some of the say. Now, Tom Mitchell, this is a tricky one. I'm going to chuck him in star. I can feel the Hawthorne fans hating me as I do that. I just never really ever thought he was an elite player, high production player, but wins a lot of his ball. I mean, he works hard. I mean, he wins the ball on the inside. No, I'm not, not disputing that. But then he, he runs hard as well to collect and distribute on the outside, but gets a lot of the ball in the back half, a lot of sideways ball movement. I don't know. I've had this debate with the boys before, but I'm going to put him in star. I think Lockie Neal's a better version of the same thing, personally. Jager O'Meara, probably in the great section, had a great start to the year, um, wins a lot of the ball, had great stats, although he butchered a lot. I think he was leading the league in clangers at one point. Um, if he can turn it around, he can definitely be up probably in that next section with uh, Tom Mitchell. But for now, I'm going to keep him in great. Sean Higgins, I'll probably go, is a star or, or is he elite? That's another tough one with North Melbourne. They're really, really chafing my balls here. Um, I'll probably put him in star at the moment. Nah, you know what? Screw it. Nah, he's elite, to be honest. If I'm being honest with myself. Finally, with Josh Kennedy, this is a real tough one because he has been such a good player for such a long time. Um, but getting a bit on now, he's not the player he once was. You'd probably still rate him in this category. Oh, I might be generous. Nah, I'll probably put him in here. He's, he's having an okay year. So, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That is how I rated this tier master. I found this particularly fun. Uh, tier maker, not tier master. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments of the list that I've compiled there. I'm sure I'm going to get a bit of hate from St. Kilda fans. Always get hate from St. Kilda fans. I really don't hate St. Kilda. Um, it's probably an Adelaide fan will bob up and say, how can you say that about Matt Crouch? Why is Brad Crouch not in here? Brad Crouch is a better player. He should be. I would put Brad Crouch in the star. Probably put Tim Kelly in the elite section. There's no Gold Coast fans in existence that watch these videos that will... Uh, be here to hate me for those two nominations but yeah so i'm pretty pretty safe there but yeah anyway guys i look forward to hearing what you think in the comments if you're new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe thanks again for watching obviously i'm probably going to do one more of these as well annual leave for me at work finishes on tuesday so i am making a lot of videos at the moment thanks guys i'll see you next time